All right, so hopefully yesterday you finished your trash lab. If you didn't, um, in here is the video showing you how to do the equations. So attached to the trash lab document, the form, that's old, that's done. But the video shows you what to do, and this picture is a summary of the video. It might make more sense if you watch the video. But we are going back into the book questions today, so chapter 21 questions. And if you're on my pacing, we should be on slide 3. And we're, there's a YouTube video we're going to watch about how we understand climate change from the past. How do we know what the weather in the air was like in the past? And so if you find your slides, you know the drill. You can press the arrow up here, the square row. And you can see I've got some answers in there. Today, if you zoom, I'm going to go over an answer from the snake worms article. Um, but if you don't zoom, you don't get that kind of thing. So this YouTube video, normally the videos are extra. This video is what slide three is about. And instead of page numbers, I have time frames where you can look for the different questions. I'm not going to play the video right now, but if you open this link and see the open link button, you can play the video. Let's see what that looks like, um, but I'll close it because otherwise my video doesn't work well. You can see the little tiny air bubbles so I'm in there. I'm going to pause this. I've got the video. Let's see if I can get slides up next to this. All right, so I can watch the video while I have my slides going. So what is inside the ice cores that scientists use to show climate change and how did it get there? That's in the first two minutes. Where has this ancient ice been found? It's the Taylor Glacier, but you need to figure out where on the earth that is. That's two and a half to three and a half minutes. And how do they get the ice cores out? How is ancient air extracted from the clathrite ice samples? And what is four Kelvin and Fahrenheit for that one? You can ask Google that. It should be Kelvin, K-E-L-V-I-N, so there's a typo. That's annoying. All right. Kelvin in Fahrenheit. So hopefully you'll get that fixed. But you can ask Siri that one or Google or whatever. 14. How does the mass spectrometer measure the different isotopes in the air samples? So they show you nitrogen first, um, but the... Mass spectrometer is a big giant magnet that does something that allows it to tell the different uh, flavors of elements, uh, heavier and lighter ones. And then, how does the drop in carbon-13, as carbon-12 is going up, prove that humans cause climate change? That's near the end, 9 to 10 and a half minutes. So, if you're careful, it, one watch of the video should get you through. If not then you might need to rewatch certain parts. Tomorrow, we're just going to keep plugging away. Tomorrow is chapter 21, section 2. And then Thursday is another article about old clothing and how it's hard to recycle, but we may be able to recycle it soon. So I really, really hope you ask me questions if you have questions or that you email me or that you Zoom. All those things make your life a lot easier. This is our last set of books questions, so make them count.